Hello everybody, today we're going to keep going through the reseller CPR box from Jamar Retail Treasures. So let's get back into it. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles. And I run a closet on Poshmark, along with my wife, Angelique. Um, it's called The Deegans. Uh, links below. All right. We're back with part two of this box. Now, this box was 50 items. It cost us um, roughly $200 with um, shipping. So it's averaging out to about $4 per item. And so far, it's been a pretty good box. So let's see if the trend continues. All right, up first we have a Lulu's. Now this is uh, extra small and it is, oh boy, that baby sounds like he is going nuts. I think my wife's upstairs giving him ice cream. Anyway, uh, so this is a one sh off the shoulder dress, um, so it has the one hole for one arm and then the other arm kind of just goes above it. Anyway, it's an extra small and unlike most of the extra small things we get, this is legitimately extra small. I know it's kind of hard to tell because it's so long, but um, it didn't fit on our mannequin and that's a little unusual. I know I've had other extra small things that have fit, so um, really tiny, um, which should do good because the unusual sizes are a little bit harder to find and they tend to sell um, they tend to sell a little bit better. All right. Up next we have a loft. If I can get this undone. Um, we have a loft. This is a also an extra small. Although this did fit on the mannequin, and it's fit because it's really, its size is entirely determined by its drawstring. Um, so, let me just, yeah, so this, I mean, this drawstring, it kind of wraps and loops around, and so it says it's an extra small, but really it could be, it could be pretty much any size, and it's long enough, so it's going to fit on, it's going to fit on any a length. Um, so it'll be a dress or tunic depending on the height. All right. Moving right along, we have another. Oh boy. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but um, I think my wife is either eating ice cream in front of in front of CJ or she's feeding him ice cream, but not fast enough. And um, yeah, he. Uh, Either way, he, he's, she's doing something he doesn't like. Or maybe he's just cranky because he didn't take a long enough nap today. Anyway, this is a Mian Wong, uh, size 12. And this is a black dress. Now, black dresses, um, they're one of the items that my wife calls essential. So, black dress, black shoes. Um, it's something that she says every girl needs, which means that this will sell regardless of the season. So um, definitely happy about that. So far, this second half or the second part of the box has been pretty good. Um, all right, up next we have a what is this a pat pat, uh, and this is new with tags. Uh, this is a multicolor long sleeve matching eye or at least that's what the tag says um, and it is in fact long sleeve uh, multiple colors and um, I guess yeah it's matching both sides have the same pattern okay so there we go description fits um, now I've never heard of this brand um, but um, let's see if there's Never heard of this brand. 
Um, so I'll have to look it up. Uh, but it looks pretty nice. And one thing I did notice about this, it has this zipper with a kind of a fake pearl on the end of it. I guess so you don't lose the zipper. Um, and it was, even though it says it's a large, this also did not fit on the mannequin. Um, this was mostly because the waist couldn't get around the shoulders on the mannequin. So, um, yeah, I had a lot of stuff that I just had to hang up in front of the uh, white screen and um, shoot it that way. Um, kind of a little old school, but yeah, the pictures came out nice. The photo booth really helps regardless of if it goes on a mannequin or not. All right, up next we have a Monroe Classic. And this is a classic hooded sweatshirt. Um, gray um, has kind of that has kind of that uh, worn look to it that is really popular. Um, but I think that'll do. Uh, I think that'll do good once we get into fall. Um, again, I haven't heard of this brand. I haven't heard of I haven't heard of these last couple brands, but. Um, Comparative, looking at the clothes, they seem to be good quality clothes. They all seem to be in good condition. Um, they all seem to have little unique pieces of flair. So I'm pretty sure this stuff will do pretty good once it gets into the right season. And speaking of something that's in the right season, a brand that I have heard of, this is a Kate Spade tank top. Um, yeah, um, I. This is really good brand. I have no, I have no complaints about this. Um, has this little thing on the front. Um, yeah, I think that's. I think this is this is a really good piece. Um, I know Kate Spade is a really good brand. It's something I've heard of. I actually bought my wife a Kate Spade. Um, case for her cell phone for her last cell phone um her latest cell phone she just got the uh, super like heavy industrial case because uh she has a tendency to break phones all right um up next we have another brand i haven't heard of this is one september and this is a petite and i think this is called a shawl um, it's kind of just a open, open shirt, no buttons. Um, it does have patterns, uh, going down the, going down the, um, well, whatever that is, the sides. Uh, and it kind of, kind of reminds me of like a, like a robe that like a boxer would wear while they're walking out. Um, but I mean, not, not quite as long, so. I don't know, maybe there's, I'm not entirely sure about that one, but I'll have to look up the brand and see how, how to price that. All right, up next we have a Ella Moss. Uh, now we had one of these in the first part of this box and I think, I'm, I think I've heard of that brand before. I think it's a real, I think it's a good brand and this is a, Really nice, um, really thin, uh, see-through um, shirt. Now I'm not sure if it says if I can look up what the material is on this because it doesn't feel doesn't feel like silk, um, but it is. It is 100% silk. So apparently my fingers are a little off today, but 100% silk shirt. Um, always, always happy. Um, being able to list that 100% silk or 100% cashmere, um, which, spoiler alert, we got one of those in here too. Always, always a great, great selling point. And speaking of 100% cashmere, we have a Club Monaco small cashmere sweater. Now this I know is 100% cashmere, and it's just got the two tones, um, but cashmere. I mean, that's that's a suit that's super soft. This is gonna. This is absolutely 
going to this is absolutely going to do well once it gets in season. Um, the cat, I mean, one hundred percent cashmere is just it's one hundred percent cashmere, one hundred percent silk. Those super fabrics. All right. Now getting off the fabric and back onto brands that I know sell. This is a free people. Now this is an extra small and it was really tight on the mannequin, but it has a lot of stretch to it. Um, and it is a um, sleeveless, uh, I don't know, it was, it seems a little short to be a dress, but maybe it could be a dress. Maybe it'd be like a tunic length. Um, I don't know. I guess it would depend on how tall you are, but it's it's really nice. It has yeah, it has this black. It's all black lining, and then it's got this um, kind of lace um, outer layer to it. Yeah, and it's it's a really nice free people tank top. Um, so. Free people tends to do really well for us, so I'm always happy to see it in in these boxes. Normally you have to pay up to get free people. Alright. Mm -hmm. Up next we have another pure cashmere sweater. This is a Talbots. And um, yeah, so this is pure cashmere. It does have this um, design on it, uh, which of course is a flower design as all clothing tends to have. Um, so yeah, I don't know. Eh, maybe those, I guess those could be peacock feathers, but no, 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 no. I see, I see right down there. Flowers. Ah, I'm always right about the, always right about the plants and the flowers. I should never question myself. All right. Moving right along. We have one, two, three, uh, it looks like about six or seven more pieces in here. All right, moving right along, we have a Miles, uh, but right below there it says by Madewell, and that's not going to focus. Uh, there we go, Miles by Madewell. Now, Madewell is another one of those brands that um, resellers are always talking about. Now, we haven't personally gotten a lot of Madewell. Um, I think we have gotten... I think we have sold maybe one um, Madewell shirt, but we, ha we only have a couple of it. It's not something we find very often. Um, anyway, this is all pink, um, an all pink uh, sweatshirt. So, again, um, probably going to uh, probably going to have to wait until fall to sell this, but definitely something that should do should do really well. And now, I guess. My wife was telling me that Poshmark now, either they have this feature or she's just figured out how to use this, um, where you can basically relist stuff a lot easier. And so a lot of the times, um, if you relist something, it bumps it, um, it bumps, it gives it a kind of a bump in the algorithm so people, people can see it. And, uh, it really, uh, really helps so a lot of older stuff um, once it comes back into season because we've now this is the one year um, this month last year is when we started reselling so we have a lot of stuff that's coming back into season so she's given it a repost relisting it and it's actually selling we're selling stuff that we had that we got when we first started it's crazy all right this is a Bowden. Now, I had a, there was a Bowden jacket in the first part of this haul, or first part of this box. Um, and Bowden, I actually, I overheard, um, I overheard another reseller that my wife was watching talking about Bowden. So I guess it's a really, really good brand. Um, I had not heard of it, but, um, yeah, so I'm I'm extra happy to get this. Um, this one has these little uh, has all these deer 
um, on it. Uh, so that'll be a perfect thing for perfect thing for once it gets to uh, once it gets to Christmas. Um, I know right now. I mean, we see deer all the time around here. Um, they're always always running through the neighborhoods and driving the dogs crazy at night, running through the yards. Um, so I guess this would be this could be year round for us, but um, probably want to wait for winter before that'll sell. All right, up next we have a another free people. All right, let's take a look at this. Um, this is a sleeveless. Um, it's another one of those sleeveless long tops that maybe is long enough to be a dress. This one's probably a little bit too short to be a dress. This is probably just a top, uh, but it's free people and it's new with tags. Um, so really, really happy about that. And again, with the average, everything averaging out, this was $4 for new of tags free people. And I know, I know that we will be able to sell this for a lot more. Um, most of our free people stuff normally goes for around, um, oh, uh, I guess anywhere from, anywhere from 20 to 40 bucks. So definitely a good return on investment on just that one item. All right, let's see. We're almost at the end of this. Um, up next, we have a halty, halt, hippie, halty hippie, um, and this is just a plain gray long sleeve shirt. Now it does have this uh, wide neck, but it's not quite wide enough to go over the shoulders, um, so. Um, that kind of, that wide neck, it kind of reminds me of kind of the, um, what is that? Kind of like the 80s, um, Olivia Newton-John physical. Um, actually, I don't even remember what that music video was. Did she have on the, did she have on a, uh, a shirt with a long neck that, went almost over the shoulders. I think that was in that music video. I don't know. Um, I'll have to look that up. Anyway, let's... Okay, up next is a Lush. Now, I think, um, I think this is a small. I remember having to look at the style tag to get the size. Um, yeah, this is a small Lush, and this is a top. Uh, you can see it's a little bit see-through here. Um, it's black and it has these little, um, I don't know, I guess you'd call them little like puffs all over it. So you can you can actually see through it and see me. Um, so you definitely have to wear something underneath this, uh, but um, I think that should do, should do alright. And last we have a Banana Republic uh, medium, and this is a all. Oh, I always call these almost sleeveless uh, because they barely have any sleeves. Just that little, little, little bit right there. That's barely a sleeve. Anyway, this is a little bit of a unique piece. Um, it has on the side. It has a zipper which I think isn't unique. And then on the back, it has buttons. But, strangely enough, it's not a... It's not a dress. It's not even a... It's not even tunic length. This is just a shirt. So, I really don't... That's kind of unusual that you see the zipper on just this shirt. And it's also a little bit unusual to see the buttons and the zipper on the side. So, um... Not entirely, that seems a little bit over-designed. Uh, anyway, um, as with all the uh, shirts that have kind of some kind of a bead or a um, sequence on them, um, well, with these sequins, they're, with these, they're large enough to where you would easily spot if one was missing. Uh, but none of them appear to be missing on this. I did do a 
once over went all the way around the collar so all the all those little fake pearls are there so um, definitely like that and Banana Republic it's you know it's not the um, it's not the greatest brand it's a little bit common but it's definitely something that that sells so nice bread and butter item we should have no problem getting uh, getting some money off that all right and that brings us to the end of um, what I've shot <laughs> so I am liking this box even more um you know there's we we got a couple of pure cashmere pieces that's i can't think of a thread up box that we've or a other reseller box that we've gotten more than one piece of cashmere um in and we have uh some free people some new of tags free people um which is another really really great thing especially for the price of this box so really really happy about this box um definitely it's definitely feeling like it's better than your average thread up box um which it's a little bit more than a thread up box but it's definitely feeling worth it oh and i i gotta mention those that bowden um that is apparently a really good brand and made well that was in there too oh my gosh i'm just now realizing that yeah we how how happy 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 i am with this box all right if you are as happy with this video as i am with the box or even just slightly happy um be sure to uh like share comment um subscribe all of those buttons are below you know how to use them um anyway until next time i've been charles and i'll see you